Hello everyone. So I'm going to do a little bit of a practice uh, love reading for this weekend. It's going to be if you're here, that's great. Actually, I'm going to make it for me. You guys seem to like that because that encompasses uh, Gemini, Libra, and what's the other? Cancer and also Aries. Check that out. We got cards flying out already. Excuse me. And yes, I'm taking a break from all the house stuff that I've been doing. Oh my God. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Woohoo! Isn't that awesome? This is the Ten of Cups. This is this is all that wonderful. It's just wonderful. I, I it, it's love. It's really, it's love. Ten of Cups. And see, there's a rainbow, and there's a moon, and there's just a happy family, and everybody is reaching out. It's just a wonderful feeling. And I want to read it to you because I think you're going to be like, what? So, yeah. Yes. Ten of Cups. Family. Domestic bliss. Optimism. Comfort. Tranquility. Peace. Sanctuary. Joy. Happiness. Deep affection. Oh, I like it. I like it. This is... Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aries, and uh, my moon is in Cancer. So take it if you want. I think it's a, I'm a happy person now. So let's see here. What else do I need to know in love for the week coming up? What else do I need to know? By the way, if you don't mind, hit the like button. If this resonates, subscribe, share, and keep in mind I am still working on getting internet where I live. But as this improves, I will uh, I will be able to post more often and uh, consistently like I had been. Let's see here. What else? Temperance. <laughs> Temperance is a Sagittarius card. Could be dealing with a Sagittarian. Sorry, I'm getting notifications. I apologize for that. But the temperance card also, if you notice, she's feeding things. She is giving water to the bird. Is that a bird? It also almost looks like a fish, but I'm fairly certain it's not a fish in the sky. And she is watering the flower. So it's about having the patient and letting things grow. You know, don't rush. This isn't a time to uh, move quickly, especially like right now as I'm recording it. This is the, uh, I believe it's the beginning of the shadow period before Mercury goes retrograde. So communication will be a little wonky. Let's see here. Let's see. What else do I need to know in love? Six of, a, of swords moving on to calmer shores. Oh my gosh. You know, here we go. Look at that. Rainbows on both cards. And I'm so glad that I got this and that I'm seeing this because I've been going through such a transformation in moving and I'm changing pretty much everything about what I... Uh, identified with as me um, besides changing my name I've pretty much changed my address changed my work uh, it's just been change all around so to know that I'm going for complete fulfillment and things are growing slowly but moving on to better times palmer waters you know this is incredibly wonderful to hear Three of Pentacles working together. Look at that. And see, with this Three of Pentacles, there's two people, and they're working on what I would consider a new person. So to me, this is two people working on a relationship, and the relationship is that third Pentacle. Traditionally, the Three of Pentacles is three people um, working together or planning together, depending on the deck. But in this one, they're actually creating 
sculpting another one. So this is perfect because where I moved is very different than where I'm used to. And I joke that it's like speaking a different language. Although I'm in the same country, I've moved far enough away that it's not the same. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Things are happening, starting to happen fast, which is funny because temperance is here, which to me is talking about slowly growing something. This could just speak to the fact that, you know, talking to somebody on the internet, uh, whether it's texting or emailing, or maybe this is talking about meeting someone, maybe, maybe this reading really isn't just for me because it really isn't, um, about meeting someone on an internet app you know, whatever one you use or like, but this is just incredible. I'm so happy. I made myself happy. I wasn't even intending on doing this, but I, I got a few moments here. So whenever I can during the day today, I'm going to stop and do a reading or two and then uh, hopefully upload them all either tonight or tomorrow morning. So what else do I need to know? Is there anything else? I mean, what else could I possibly need to know, right? The tower. <laughs> you know, I, I, I it, it, this is going to sound, this is not what the tower card means at all, but this is how I feel about this. And I find this card evokes this feeling in me more often lately. And that is, if you stay with something, if you stay with what works, this strong tree, you survive and you do well. If you deviate too far, you run the risk of, of getting zinged. So I feel like this is talking about that relationship, um, working on it. The Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, communication, things getting better because you're feeding it and you're working on it and you're not just running away because every time you run away, you run into the same thing. I always say we all take our baggage with us from relationship to relationship. And this to me is talking about, it's better to find that one person and unpack and work through things than to just keep jumping from, from nest to nest to nest, more or less. So this, this is a different meaning to the tower card I know but that's how I feel about it. So let's get some other cards. Let's get a Romance Angel Oracle card for my reading. Like I said, this could be appropriate for you if you are Gemini, Libra, uh, I have Cancer Moon, and Venus and Aries. So four signs right there that you may, you may actually resonate with this. So a card for love from the Romance Angels. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Exactly what I was saying. Don't jump from nest to nest, from house to house to person to person. Give it a chance. Work on it together and create, like the Three of Pentacles said, create a new relationship. Create a new being of sorts. And that's going to be that relationship that you share, you know. And that's, that's really good. So I did take out the... Uh, angel tarot cards just because I like them and I'm just going to grab one angel tarot card and I'm curious to see what it says I always like to get more instead of less let's see here and see how it works whoops so we got two cards three cards oh there's just there's a no, two but these are the ones that come out really fast you know they uh can take longer they actually have writing on them we got Knight of Air, which to me would be a air sign, which would be your Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed, what I talk about, Eight of Wands. Take time to carefully review your options. Creative solutions. That would be temperance. So this Knight of Air to me is reaffirming exactly what I said before. That things are going to happen and basically... You're going to just review them, you know, especially with the retrograde review. And there's going to be a solution. You may have to be creative about it, but, or I may be, <laughs> but it's going to work. And the other card is the world. Archangel Michael, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. Remember I said about changing everything in my life? This is it. 
I'm changing everything in my life of who made me who I was and becoming someone completely different and the world opens up. Look at that. It's being birthed as a new person, even in love. So thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to give it a like. If you enjoyed it, please, or resonate, please subscribe and share. And thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your patience. Bye.